hi welcome back to my channel i hope you're staying safe during this period wear your mask when going out and sanitize and all that good stuff so today we are going to be talking about how to make your studio apartment or your bed sitter look good we want your house to look good so i have written down a few tips that I used to make my house look good okay look good so let's start with the first thing so number one color coordinate color coordinate please <laughs> I think that's if if you do not take anything from this video please just take color coordinate Please don't let your house have a million colors, you blue, green, red everywhere. We need to have some peace and not peace, some uniformity somewhere. Um, yeah, so we need to have some uniformity in your house. So if you, if you have, let's say, I have purple and is it dark pink? <laughs> Um, walls so yeah so I have purple and dark pink walls which means that is enough bright colors for me my bedroom has to be a bit toned down to some gray um, yeah so don't have green pink blue <laughs> hmm. yeah so the second thing is avoid colored brightly colored plastic things <sighs> oh this thing is so have you ever walked into someone's house and the first thing you see is a bunch of plastic um the plastic dish holder is it called uh, the dish rack yeah the plastic dish rack which is green in color and then next to it is is um the other rack that you use to place your fruits and veggies stuff like that and that one is pink and then you move to the dustbin the dustbin is like yellow or something <laughs> it's, it's 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 horrendous don't don't do that don't mm. So if you're able to avoid plastics, please do. You can get a metallic silver dish rack. You can get a, also a metallic silver one. If you don't like silver, please go for something. <laughs> Even white looks. Just, just please avoid. <laughs> if you're not able to find alternatives for your plastic, stuff please just go for cool toned colors like gray i'll show you one that i have the gray one let me see mm, can i find it right now yes let me see if i can find it let me show you okay. yeah i'll show that later so that's the second thing so when you remove the whole plasticky thingy is mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. your house immediately looks better immediately looks better if you color coordinate your curtains, if your curtains are, let's say your walls are white, and then you have black seats, and then you have green curtains, and then you have a red, um, a rag, what is it called, a carpet, it just, <sighs> so these things need planning. These things need a lot of planning and Pinterest is your best friend when it comes to this. Just go there, pick a couple of things, create your own board, try and color coordinate in your mind before you go off buying things and then they just don't look good in your house. Yeah. So the third thing is enough lighting in your house. So you, you need, yeah, you need proper lighting in your house. I know there are people who don't like um, a lot of light coming in and you can buy the, they call the, 
uh, the blind curtains, what are they called? Something like that, the blind curtains where you can just draw your curtains and then it's pitch dark. But in the meantime, you during the day or when you don't need to be in total darkness, you can have bright windows. So for your shears, if you're able to, please get white shears for your windows. Also, um, when you're house hunting, keep in mind that you need this brightness. It also brightens your mood. It, 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 it just, it's beautiful to have <laughs> brightness in your house. So when you're house hunting, hunting, house hunting, you need to check on your windows. So for my studio, I have one, two, then the three, four. So I have four. And during the day, I open my bathroom door so that more light comes in. So yeah, that's another tip. If you're not able to get to have to get yeah to get a house with that many windows or huge windows, you can also um, invest in mirrors. Mirrors bounce back the little lights that your house has, and then it just looks brighter. It, it opens up the room and it looks nice. So if you're not able to get a house with huge windows, enough lighting coming in, invest in mirrors. Yeah, house of leather, plug. <laughs> uh, so the fourth thing is get some life in your house. Get some life. So um, to, how, how, how do you do this? You need plants. You need plants. Some greenery in your house makes it look good. Okay, it, it, it looks good in your house. So um, you can go for the real plants, but some of us don't have the patience because we get attached to plants and then they die and then now you start and then you start again and then the cycle continues. So you get tired and eventually get some artificial plants and flowers, which is what I have. <laughs> I have some sunflowers and whatever this plant is called. Yeah, and they were actually very affordable, well, apart from the sunflower. This was actually very affordable. And if you need a video of where you can find affordable plants, please let me know so that I can show you all the nice affordable but quality things. We also don't want to get plasticky um, plants. So yeah, so get some life in your house. It looks good immediately. So the fifth one. Oh yeah, I've already talked about this. It's go for cooler colors. When you're um, doing your house or when you're looking for a house or an apartment, please look for white walls, pure white walls, not cream walls, pure white walls. So I looked for white walls, did not get them, but when I saw this house, it looked clean and neat. And I knew immediately that that was the house I wanted. So it took me a bit of time to actually <laughs> convince myself that there wasn't a better one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go for cooler toned colors. If my house, say my house is pink and purple, my bed cannot be green and, and, and red and yellow. So that's why I went for um, gray beddings. And so my bedroom is mostly gray, so it's purple and gray on that side, which brings a bit of balance so yeah um so the seventh one is the most irritating it's the most irritating thing ever so when you decide to move to a bed sitter or a studio apartment you already know what that is you already know that this is the amount of space that I need and I will be comfortable there. Okay? So people who divide their studios with curtains. Hmm. 
<laughs> don't do not do not divide your rooms with curtains actually this is your bedroom there's a curtain there and this is your living room there's a curtain there and then there's your please don't do that you you already knew that that is what you wanted so make your house look good so that you're not ashamed of your things okay okay so please it's okay for i'm not saying it's the best but also i don't have a lot of people over but it's 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 uh, it, it's tired. Imagine going into a studio apartment that is already partitioned with curtains. It's already small. Let's start there. So a studio is small. So not all studios are small actually. I saw a huge one. But it's already small. You've divided your you've put up curtains as dividers and then you have a bunch of colored plastic things and then your carpet is Oh no god no god please no no don't do that don't don't do that let's let's stop with the curtains that's why we are we are pushing for beautifully done house color coordination beautiful curtains your curtains should not be halfway down <laughs> your curtains should go all the way down if you're able to which you know, should be able to you'd rather not have curtains for the longest period until you save for that curtains than how half halfway curtains it's yeah you you're living in a bed sitter you're not trying to to look and act when you die for it you know, just mm -hmm. <sighs> so there's also some few tricks inside that i'll throw in for you so for your house to look a bit neat color coordinated and all that bright and all that you need to be able to organize your things organize your things and organizing your things will save you will save your life so for example i know very well um I don't buy shoes that he in colors or anything like that so I can't really do a color coordination of my shoe rack so I will not buy a shoe rack and also there's literally no space for shoe rack because <laughs> if I do that then it just it, it, it looks wrong so what you do is if you're able to 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 get a proper bed that is um lifted so you have enough space down here for um a couple of shoes also don't buy a million shoes you just need like 10 15 pairs is that a lot oh you need like 10 15 pairs so you put them um somewhere under your bed together with your plastic because you also need the basin yeah so that just has to happen but it doesn't have to be just anywhere in the bathroom seated there mm -hmm. so just keep it under your bed and um yeah that will make some mm, difference also um with your dishes the dish rack thing if you don't want the whole dish rack a bunch of racks everywhere you can just because you live alone i hope and also if you just two of you then you're able to wash your two plates clean them dry them and keep them back in the cabinets so you don't have to have um a bunch of utensils just sitting around somewhere just clean wipe put them back and your house will look spectacular 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 so yeah um also if you're able to find high ceilings high ceilings elevate everything everything if you're able to find high ceilings please do it will save your life you don't have to look like also let me just say this living in a bed sitter let me... living in a i've seen a bunch of people talk, the same people living in bed sitters and i'm like what what living in a bed sitter does not mean you're broke it does not mean you need to it does not mean you're poor and you're dying of poverty <laughs> no it does not i could have easily afforded a one or two bedroom even so that does not 
I just chose. I knew that this was the space I wanted. This space is enough for me, and it's 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 really all I need. And I'm not struggling at here. I need um, bigger space for this or bigger space for that. And also, I'm saving money, so that does not mean that. Let's get that out of the way. The um, the last thing is clutter. Clutter. Clutter is not your friend. Clutter is not your friend. Mm. If you're able to, let me just say this: if you're able to wash your clothes as every two days, please do, because waiting for the entire week and you, well, especially in this cold season, you have to have your shirt or your top and your trouser or skirt, and then there's also a jacket. You also sometimes need a scarf. It's so changing all those clothes every day at the end of the week you'll have too many clothes also between that weekly thing I, mm, I know people have laundry baskets but I feel like that is just holding that mm -hmm. so if you uh, please wash your, your your clothes as often as possible and that just makes you look your your house smell good look good look neat and yeah so i think that is the last point please also share down below the um tricks that you use to make your house look a bit better and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe bye see you next time